Hello and welcome back to Tips and Time Savers. I'm Danny Rocks and in today's lesson I'm going to show you how you can use conditional formatting rather than manual formatting to highlight exceptions in Excel. Recently I was working with a client who was monitoring registrations for a conference. So what they have over here is the people who have registered but unfortunately what they did is they applied manual formatting to the clients who had not yet registered. Well, what if, for example, this client had now registered and they typed in yes? Well, unfortunately, that formatting remains in place. I'm going to use the keyboard shortcut Control Z to undo that. So now let's come back and look at how we can use conditional formatting. Conditional formatting is a two-step process. First off, what is the condition? If the value that you set as your condition evaluates a true, then you will apply the conditional formatting. If the value for your formula or your reference evaluates to false, then there is no change in the formatting. All right, so let's come over here. Remember that in Excel or any other Office program, before you can take an action, you first must make a selection. So I'm selecting the range of cells that I want to apply conditional formatting to. I'm going to use the is blank function. Now let's show you how this works. Remember, you're going to use a logical function greater than less than, greater than, or equal to, or a function, for example, as is blank. Is blank. I'm going to use function autocomplete by using the tab key. And I'm going to point over here to a cell. Now, it applies the left parentheses and it capitalizes the function. I want to put in the right parentheses to close this out. So over here, yes, it's not blank. So in other words, I get a false. I use the autocomplete by double clicking over here. And you can see over here, the true, this cell is truly blank. I'll use control Z to undo this. And I'm going to come back over here and now make a selection. So here is my registration list. I've made a selection, now I can take an action. I want to apply conditional formatting. So on the Home tab of the ribbon, I want to come over here into the Styles group, and in the drop-down for conditional formatting, what I want to do is I want to apply a new rule. In this case, and again, you're going to want to work yourself through this. I want to use a formula. The formula is going to be the is blank function. So I'm going to type in equals is blank. And I'm going to use the left parentheses. What I want to do in this case is I want to select a specific cell. Now notice that it applies um, an absolute formula to it and I don't want to have that so I want to remove the dollar sign in front of the column and I want to remove the dollar sign in front of the row and I want to apply the um, uh, right closing parentheses. So in other words I want to have in here is blank C2, right parentheses. Now, if the condition evaluates to true, I want to then apply a specific formatting. So in this case, what I want to do is I want to have a fill for the values that evaluate to true. I'm going to make a selection for the formatting, click OK. So I've set my condition. I've set my formatting when the formula evaluates to true and click OK. Now, notice what happens over here when Benjamin has actually registered. If I type in yes, well then that formatting disappears. So I didn't format the cells, I formatted based upon a condition. 
And that's really a great tip. It's something that I, I, I find the more that I train uh, clients that I, I just find that they don't understand or they've never been exposed to conditional formatting. So if you want to learn more about this and other tips, come over to my online shopping website, shopthecompany.rocks, uh, shop dot the company rocks dot com is secure and I know I can help you so I'll look for you in the next tips and time savers.